Graph the function by shifting. Label the vertex, y-intercept, and any x-intercepts, and round to the nearest tenth if necessary. The function f of x equals the quantity x plus 4 squared minus 6. In this problem, the h value is negative 4, and the k value is negative 6. So that implies that the horizontal translation is 4 units to the left, and the vertical translation is 6 units down. The vertex is typically at 0, 0, but because of these translations, we now know that the vertex must lie at the point negative 4, comma, negative 6. Now let's find our intercepts. The y-intercept. The y-intercept occurs when x equals 0. So let's evaluate f of 0. f of 0 equals 0 plus 4 quantity squared minus 6. 0 plus 4 is 4, and 4 squared is 16. So 16 minus 6 is 10. So the y-intercept is 0, comma, 10. Now let's find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts occur when f of x equals 0. 0 equals the quantity x plus 4 squared minus 6. We need to solve this quadratic equation for x. And we can do that by extracting the roots. So let's add 6 to both sides of the equation. 6 equals x plus 4 squared. Taking the square root of both sides, plus or minus the square root of 6 equals x plus 4. And then subtracting 4 to both sides, we can finally get x by itself. So x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 6. Now we'd like these values to the nearest tenth, rounded to the nearest tenth. So let's get out our calculator, and let's find out what these values are. First, negative 4 plus the square root of 6. That equals approximately negative 1.6. So one of the x-intercepts is negative 1.6 comma 0. The other, negative 4 minus the square root of 6 equals negative 6.4. So the other x-intercept is negative 6.4 comma 0. Now let's plot all these points. We know that it's a quadratic equation, so this graph is going to be a parabola, and since A is positive, it's going to open upward. First, the vertex. The vertex lies at the point negative 4, negative 6. The y-intercept at 0, 10. The x-intercepts at negative 1.60 and negative 6.40. And now we can connect the dots to make this parabola. And we can see from this graph that it is going to be a parabola opening upward. 